Let me get this all fixed. So it is day, what did I say, day 11? Day 11 of the cup. Um, feeling good, feeling better. So yesterday I took a full rest day. So I have, I have sinned. I haven't done cardio for two days. Um, I skipped cardio the other morning and then yesterday I decided to take a full rest day because my body just like I felt like my body needed a full rest day and um, yeah so I didn't do cardio I didn't do any lifting yesterday gave my body a full rest day back at it today so normally my rotation kind of got messed up excuse me <clears throat> but today um, I still feel pretty sore in like my upper body um, today normally would be another back day, but, uh, I still feel pretty sore in my back. So we're going to turn this Thursday into Thursday for me, Friday for you guys. I'm going to turn this Thursday into a leg day. So what am I thinking I'm going to do? Pretty much legs. So let's go hit legs and... Throw around a lot of weight. I think I'm going to start going down lower in weight. Just because I've noticed the, the weights I used to be able to do while just kind of eating whatever whatever the heck I wanted to eat, I was able to easily do. So I was able to easily... So, like, for example, on my chest press up, um, I, was, I, I was able to do 90s for at least six reps. And then... Um, Last chest day, I don't think I could even done hardly 80s. And then um, the for uh, incline benching um, when I was in Florida, and I was you know kind of just eating whatever the heck I wanted to. There too, I was able to, I was able to easily, I was almost able to do three plates. So I was able to almost do three plates. I, I can't remember how much weight that is on top of my head. Uh, math is hard for me. So three. So I had three plates on each side. And I did about six reps, non-assisted or anything. Unless maybe they just had, to, maybe they had the styrofoam ones there, maybe. I don't know, maybe they had styrofoam weights. But um, yeah, I was able to do it, um, you know, five, six reps, unassisted. And then my friend help assist me for the last two so then with with megan the other day i thought oh man maybe you know i'm able to easily do two plates i couldn't even do two plates i don't know if that's a combination of the bulk and just my body was just super tired maybe a little bit of both just not getting enough sleep and you know you're not eating a whole lot so i think that probably has to do it so i need to lower my weights so i don't know how much i'm gonna do for legs um weight wise i think last time we did we went up to what 700 and something or was it six something we went six six thirty on the leg press i don't think i'm gonna do six thirty i don't know maybe I, I guess i'll see how i feel but um i think i'm gonna just start taking it day by day on how i feel on how i'm gonna push my weightlifting so i haven't weighed myself for a while so i'm still gonna put 257 pretty sure i'm under 257 now but i'm just putting 257 because i haven't weighed myself in a while um i normally gonna wait to weigh myself until early morning after i got to the bathroom i haven't had nothing to drink nothing to eat that's kind of hard to do because when i first wake up i have medications that i need to be taken and uh Another good thing was uh, my blood pressure. So I went to the doctors today. My blood pressure was actually low. So it was 100 over 70. And he was like, oh my gosh, now, you're, now your blood pressure is dropping. So that might be a good sign that I can start coming off that blood pressure medicine. And so already being in the cut for 12 days is already dramatic change in my blood pressure. Or maybe it just because what, maybe it just because my wife wasn't there with me, you know? normally she's with me and if she's with me i have higher blood pressure i'm just teasing right. i'm just teasing but yeah so uh today i'm 
about 2,000 calories. And, uh, yeah, so I just need to, I think, clean the diet up, diet up a little bit more. I hate saying diet, cause it's not really a diet, right? It's just calories. <coughs> um, but I kind of just need to clean the, the food up, I, I think. So, like, for dinner, we had in and out But what I did is I did the flying, the flying Dutchman. That was pretty good, with the onions instead of the bread, or buns. And then, um, oh man, for lunch though, I had such a good freaking lunch. So for lunch, what I did is I took those, uh, I took some top sirloin steak and, and cut it up. And I, um, uh, got those wellness wraps. And I got two of them and I put, um, uh, fat-free cheese. And I did the well, uh, wellness wraps between that and the steak. And then I took plain Greek yogurt, or non-fat plain, plain Greek yogurt. And what I did is I mixed in Taco Bell sauce into that. So then I was dipping that, like, quesadilla thing I made into that. So that, that, that was pretty good. It's stuff like that. That really helps. Um, kind of stay on track. I'm kind of struggling tonight. I don't know why. Like, more emotional, maybe. I think my, like I said, I'm an emotional eater. So when I get into emotions and all those kind of things. I just kind of want to eat a lot. And then Megan and I um, had some Fairlife protein drinks. And then me and Megan tried these new Oreos. They're the mud pie Oreos. I only had two cookies, which is 140 calories. I wanted to eat the whole thing. And maybe that's my problem too is like when I, when I have it. So like when I did keto before and some of those diets where you can't have those things... I, think, I feel like I did better because now that I can still have those kind of things in my diet, when I even, when I have a taste of it, then I want a lot of it. So it's almost like an addiction. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I want, now I want to eat the whole pack, right? But when I was keto and when I've done like keto and carnivore, it wasn't as hard because it was like, well, you can't have those things. So I was like, okay. And I lost the craving for those things. So now that I have those things and can have those into my diet... I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just something to think about for like, maybe me, maybe it would be better to switch to like more of a carnivore style diet. Like it's not necessary, right? I don't need to do it. But maybe for me with that addicted personality towards food and sweets and stuff, if I don't have it at all, maybe that would be better. So I don't crave it. I don't know. Cause I, I just feel like I crave it more when I can have a little bit. Clothes are fitting looser. That's so that stuff's coming along. So, I, like I said, I think the weight loss is really on track right now. Even though I want to eat a lot, Megan wants to eat a lot. The mud pie Oreos. I'm telling you right now, they're not really worth it. I was hoping to taste some gummy gummy worms in it. You don't, right? I don't taste no. Why, why are you giving me a funny look? She thinks it's worth it. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, I mean they're they're really good, but they don't have like. The gummy taste I was looking for. Then go buy a gummy worm, pack of gummy worms, and eat it with the Oreo. Oh, so that, yeah. So, boom. Yeah. So, let me go buy a pack of gummy worms. <laughs> yes. And then put the gummy worms or like a gummy worm in between them. That would probably be better. Be a lot good. more calories, though. Yeah, but we can split it. Yeah. But I don't know. So, <coughs> yeah. Yeah. I want to really just play a lot of Hell Divers, too, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah, and so do I now. Thanks. I know. I got Megan on Helldivers also because we have two laptops. So she's like, she started playing and she goes, now I know why you're so addicted to this game. It's so much fun. She was like, man, I don't want to go to the gym. I want to go play Helldivers. I'm like, yeah, we got to hit the gym. Took a rest day yesterday. Um, yeah, so I, I think that's it. I think we're going to get in there, hit legs. Just wanted to give a update on all the other stuff and just got to try to resist those, you know, that voice in your head is just like, oh, it's okay. Just, you know, just have a little bit more treats today. Like, you know, like my mom was like, can you pick me up blueberry muffins from Costco and the one with the chocolate drizzle on it? Oh my gosh. One of those things is 900 calories for one freaking muffin. I could probably knock out four of those things right now. And I, like I sniffed them and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want these so bad. And like that little voice in my head's like, just do it, David. It's okay. It's just for one night. No, resisted it. 
So I'm proud of myself for resisting, but it's hard. It's like an addiction. So, I've, you know, it, it is. It's an addiction. And it's hard when you have, like, you have to shop for other people for those things. Because then it's like you have to, you like, you're around it. Or, like, when we do DoorDash and stuff like that for jobs, it's so hard smelling that food. And then you're like, oh, my gosh, I want that food. But so far we're doing good. We're resisting. And, I mean, it wouldn't kill me one day to actually go to... Um, maintenance as long as I don't go over maintenance you're fine but I don't know I just I really want this really bad so I'm really trying hard to stay under and and I think and I wouldn't re recommend this but I did talk this uh, talk to my doctor today about this so talk to your doctors before you do what I might start doing because I talked to him about going down to 1800 to 1500 calories a day and that's at a very aggressive cut in calories and it's it's not necessarily like that healthy for you i don't know because like i feel like fasting right when you fast you feel pretty good when i fast i feel pretty good and i feel like better energy levels i don't know it's just better over like my body feels overall better when i fast so when i talked to him about it he's like hey as long as you're safe I i'm down for it to go down to 1500 calories he's like um they also kind of recommended this medication that's for like diabetics that you take shots and it's supposed to lower your blood sugar and do all these things that and, and keep your appetite down because i have a really high appetite but man i don't, I don't know if i want to start that um i was kind of looking into that stuff and i'm like you yeah, know i just just want to do calorie deficit just really push myself i can do this the right way like how our bodies are designed to get it done you know i don't really feel like really wanting to inject more stuff into me um and it's really expensive too it's like 480 dollars for like a third or for a three month supply but i don't know if i want to go down that route maybe if for some reason i'm even starving myself and i can't lose the fat even though that's pretty much impossible um the maybe, but I don't know. It's just something for you guys to think about too is do you want to go down that route of having to inject stuff? And that even goes for like, hey, you have low testosterone, um, all those kind of things. Do you really want to go down that route of having to inject things for the rest of your life into your body? Um, it's just, you know, you got to make that decision for yourself. Um, I think if you want to become like a professional bodybuilder and be mr olympia and you really want to go that route and you have good genetics then hell yeah go for it like watching sam solik and that guy man and and people I, I hate how people are just like oh it's the roids man it's this and it's like no i mean yeah that does play a part but dude it's it's also the hard work that guy puts in the gym man you know you can't just like i can't just sit here and take steroids and then it'd be like the episode where all of a sudden sam salt comes up to you and squeeze you and you're like and you're getting all big it's not how it works you still have to put in the hard work you have to put in the diets and all that stuff it's a lot goes to it it's not just that process but i do encourage people if you do have very low testosterone then you get a check um once and i'll be, I'll be honest with you guys so i i i take testosterone and that was because when I went to the doctors, they, they jokingly asked if I was a female. Are, are you sure you weren't born a female? Because so my testosterone was like 126, I think, like 126, even lower, I think. And my estrogen was so freaking high. So he's like, man, no wonder why you're so depressed and you're just like, you know, you're, you're SI, you're like all these things. And, and ever since I started taking testosterone, yeah, I have a little bit more anger issues. I've never been an angry person, but I get upset and frustrated at things easier. But man, that depression, I'll tell you what, it's helped a lot with depression and, and that kind of thing. So it's just something to think about. But of course, consult with your doctors, um, do it the right way, get stuff tested, be with a doctor so they can monitor everything and blood work and make sure everything's working as good. And because, you know, if, if you start doing that stuff without a doctor overseeing you, you can risk getting prostate cancer, I think it was. Like, a lot of stuff can go wrong. Like, your prostate can swell and lots and lots of stuff can go wrong. So always consult with the doctor on that stuff. And 
honestly, I'll be honest with you guys, I took about a year ago, I th was it a year ago, Megan, when I took Trend? Yeah. It was about a year ago when I took a little bit of Trend. It wasn't much. How much was it? It was, um, it was very it low, was wasn't it? It was like, it was so low. But that stuff will freaking play with your mind. And I took such a low dose just because um, some like one of my friends had a lot of extra of it. And he's like, he's like, try a little bit of it and see if it helps you with like weight loss and all that stuff. And I'm kind of stupid. I didn't really know what it was. I didn't know about how it was being used on cattle so they keep their muscle. I, I had no idea. I should have done more research on it. And so I took a little bit. And it was doing a little bit low mounts. And man, that got, that stuff messed with my mind so bad. So stay away from Trent. Like 100%. Like I would recommend staying that away from that stuff if you go down that route. But um, it is 69 degrees in here. That's a very good number. I like that number. So we're going to head in the gym and start this leg day. I'm starting to get itchy. I still have to change into some workout clothes because I'm just kind of in street clothes right now. And then... Uh, Oh, now I went to 70 degrees. I do not like that. Let's turn off the car down. Ugh. I like it. I don't know. Even in like anywhere I go, I like it 69 degrees. That's like the perfect temperature. Like if I go to my dad's, I'll turn his thermostat to 69. If I'm in my mom's place, I'll turn hers to 69. It's, I like that temperature. It's a very nice temperature. It's very comfortable. So some people think it's for other reasons. It's because how comfortable it is. But uh, I guess, yeah. Let's go in there and start this uh, leg day. I'm kind of dreading it. I don't know why. Because I feel like I'm going to poop myself once I start trying to press hard. Let's hope that doesn't happen. All right, I already started <clears throat> a few warm-up sets. Man, I really need to get that freaking lens so you guys are seeing more of a wider view. So... A lot of what I do may look like ego lifting and all that. And it might be to an extent, but I just want to push myself hard. I haven't hurt myself yet in two years. And I might have to lower my weight now just because when I was putting 5,000 calories into my body, it was a lot stronger. And now cutting, I'm, I'm pretty weak. Well, not pretty weak, but I'm just getting weaker. So, um, let's go with... I'm gonna try one night. Well, I don't know. Let's try. Let's go. With I don't know. Let's do 140. Let's go with that and see how it goes. anymore. That's what she said. I don't know what she's joking. That's not what she said. Whew. All right. I'm going to do probably three or four sets of this. Whew. All right. So I normally take a little, a little rest while Megan is doing her sets. So I'm going to up this to 160 because Oh no, the last set felt pretty good. I felt like it could do more. More weight. one I probably could have done more reps to be honest I think I set myself short on that one 
All right, so I already did a good set of these into a failure. Um, I was watching Arnold and he said, put your mind in the muscle. And I've been really thinking about that now. So honestly, I'm not even counting how many reps I'm doing. Just really putting my mind to those muscles and the muscle I'm working on and going to failure, like true failure. We're doing 130 for these right now. Absolute failure. Yeah, oh, man. So was good. Okay, I'm gonna do two or three more sets of these and then move on. <coughs> All right, leg press 430. Megan says 450. Megan says they're 450. Um, like I said last time, I probably can go just 700 and plus, but. I don't know. I guess it depends on what my goals are in the future. I kind of wanted to trim down. And then part of me wants to say screw it and just become a strong man. Lightweight. Increase it to like five something or six. We'll see. All right, Megan said this is what 540? 540. Megan just did how much did you do? It's like four something. She did really well. I bet she could do this mount. Yeah, you can. You could do this watch, Megan. All right. 540. This might be the highest I go tonight. more sets and then to calves all right we're gonna record Megan's set how much you doing Megan 360 do you think it was more than that no I just know you can do probably 500 yeah right I barely can do 360 you're Megan the destroyer you can do 500 all right Remember what I told you? Don't walk yeah, don't your walk knees me. and just f try to put your mind right here. Okay, ready? Come on, Megan the Destroyer, you got it. Ready when you're ready. Pick your song and let's go. Remember this 
right. Just, just push with your legs up here. Just got done eating a bunch of Taco Bell. You're trying to push it out. There you go. Perfect. I don't even have to assist you. There you go. You got it. We're going to take you past failure. We're going to make sure you can't walk for three days. <laughs> no, I don't need not on the weekend. No way. Yep. You're going to be needing crutches and a wheelchair after this. There you go. Perfect, perfect. Push, 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 push. Come on, girl. Keep pumping it. There you go. Keep going. Don't walk those knees. You're locking them. Go, go push. There you go. Come on, keep pushing. We're going into, you can't push it up anymore. Go, go, go. Okay. Down, 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 down. You got it. Down. All right, come down. I'm assisting you, remember? Yeah. Down, 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 down. What? Down, down, down. Keep pumping them. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. There you go. Perfect. That's failure. Good job. That's That was failure. That's what we want. Towards the end where you can't do it anymore. Good job. Megan the Destroyer did good. All right, guys. We're going to do 720. Don't do what I'm doing. You might hurt yourself. But you know what? It's part of this again. I mean, you want to get stronger? You want to get stronger, right? I don't know. We'll see how this does. We'll see how it feels. I don't think this would be a PR for me. Right? Maybe on this channel, but not on. I've gotten pretty close to a thousand, so. Let's see how it feels. Megan's here to assist. <sighs> Safety's on. Always wrap it before you stick it, boys. Ooh. Don't need don't want me yet. Ooh. 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 Oh, lightweight. All right, let's add another hundred and something on there. I'm just teasing. I am done with leg press. On to caps. <clears throat> All right, calves, my favorite. I love calves. I don't know. I I love calves. Doing calves might be because I have big calves, but that's genetics. Don't be jealous of my calves. Just focus on your own like body and like how your body is growing honestly like don't compare yourself to other people like my stomach and my upper body sucks but my calves and my legs are pretty pretty i'm gonna say i'm gonna be honest they're beautiful but that's genetics that that hurts all right i'm gonna do three, five, four sets of these. This one hurts my ankle a little bit more, to be honest, because it just see, I tore my ligaments in my right ankle about two years ago, over two years ago now, had surgeries, and I saved the mayor of Denver. Um, I tackled a homeless person I was trying to attack, attack him. Totally joking. Um, I fell down the stairs. So that was fun. But um, yeah, let's get to finishing up this workout. All right, two forty fives on each side. Let's push, oh, let's push this ankle. I've been cleared by the doctors to push my ankle like this, by the way. That's gonna help the neuropathy. It doesn't do me any good just sitting around and not pushing it. I've gotta push that nerve, some nerve damage. Oh. 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 
I'm going to do one more set of that and call quits and then I'll see you guys in the bathroom or wherever I go. All right. Try to do this pump check in here, I guess. In the little designated posing room. I don't know how it's going to look. Megan's not in here with me. But, uh... I don't know if you guys can see all good let me see yeah you guys should probably see good i should go a little closer go on there megan check check if you see good guys i need a tan why didn't you guys tell me that i look as white as casper the ghost do you see it good there we go we're flexing them do you see them decently or not what about if I get closer? You see your thighs? Is that what I'm looking at? Right here. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to show off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you see calves too or no? Yeah. Uh, can you see calves now? Yeah. Just a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. We'll get better at all this posing stuff. Yeah. But yeah, man. My legs are pretty pumped. And yes, I still have, when we went to Florida, I got eaten up by mosquitoes when we were in the Everglades. So, just kind of wanted to show an example. So I weighed myself just now. It says 261. And of course, that's me weighing myself at night after I've had everything. So I'm hoping tomorrow when I weigh myself in the morning, I'll be below 257, but if that's not the case, it's nothing to worry about yet. Now, if it's been a month out and say I'm still at 257 and I haven't long gone below 257, then we have a problem. So either, so obviously I'm intaking too much food. So it's like, so what's causing it? Could be my scale. It could be, my scale is off, um, I'm not weighing my food properly, and I'm not counting properly. So, or I'm just not being honest with myself, right? But in my mind, I'm like, hey, if I don't put this Big Mac in that I just ate, if I don't put it in my macro counter, it doesn't count. No, it does count. But my clothes are fitting looser, so I'm going off of that, not the scale right now. So I, I know I've lost fat. So. I could be holding on more water right now. Um, you know, I take creatine. There could be so many factors tomorrow morning if I'm not below that 257. Tons and tons of different factors. There's just like a bunch of built up stuff in my stomach. I need to get out. You just know what it is. So, um, I don't know if I'm gonna record tomorrow. I might, it all depends. So tomorrow is what, Friday, Megan? So it's supposed to be another chest day. Um, honestly, my chest is still really sore from our last chest day. So it might not be chest tomorrow. We'll see how we feel. Maybe back will be ready to go. Maybe my legs are not gonna be ready to go. Maybe shoulders. I haven't done a shoulder day yet. Um, I throw shoulders in there every once in a while because I feel like my shoulders are pretty good right now. My shoulders are traps. But um, yeah, when I'm doing chest workouts, I feel like I'm getting a lot of front delt workouts more than my chest because I've watched like TikToks where it's like try it like this way have your elbows more in to get your uh, more muscle activation in your chest like that I can see it does for some reason when I'm lifting weight like that I feel like it goes more in my shoulders not in my chest so I need to maybe try it back out this way like most people do like and then flex when I come in like that, just flex. I think I'm not focusing on flexing, to be honest. So we just need to come in like that and flex them. I gotta put my mind in my muscle. And we'll see how it goes. Right there, even that was super sore, so my chest is dead right now. But um, yeah, just keep going. Keep trying to lose that weight. If you're in a bulk, keep trying to eat as much as you can. 
but uh, I don't know, my belly is looking pretty good. As you can see right now, I'm not bloated or anything. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's looking better. I'm feeling better. So it's not panic because the scale hasn't gone under 250. Well, I don't know that yet because I haven't weighed in the morning. I weighed at night, but I'm kind of thinking it's not going to be under 257. I think it'll be at 257, 258. I don't think it'll be under, but we'll see in the morning. But yeah, um, that was an awesome leg day. 720 leg press. It might look like I'm ego lifting. Maybe I am, but honestly, I'm going to push myself. I kind of know when I'm going to hurt myself, I can feel it and then I back off. So like, of course, if I, if I keep pushing through something that like I feel a little tweak and I keep pushing through it, that's from my experiences is that's when a lot of people tear their pecs or tear their bicep. And, <clears throat> and it depends, for me, it depends on what workout I'm doing. So some workouts I'm okay with being under, like not in control. Like if, you, if you're doing arm curls in, my, in honestly, in my opinion, like I'm doing arm curls like this. It's okay to do a little bit of this, right? It's okay to go a little kind of crazy. I'm not really worried about risking hurting myself. Maybe I guess if you're doing, you're trying to do a hundred pound dumbbell and you're going like this and you're twisting your back, maybe you'll tweak your back a little bit. But I'm not too worried about getting all loose like this with the, you know, with certain things, a little out of control. Some things, yeah, you want to be in complete control. Like if you're doing those one, arm curls on a machine like this. Yeah, be in control and do lightweight because then that's when your biceps are going to So you want to be like in really good control, nice, good squeezing moments, movements, really flex that muscle and uh, don't go like this with a lot of your weight. Like, if you do a lot of weight on that, man, your biceps are going to So that's from my experience. It's like I've been doing this for two years and that's just some of the, it's still beginner stuff, but just do what you feel like is good for your body. You feel like you get on and you do a chest machine that's like this and you're just like, man, I'm not really feeling that, but guess what I'm feeling? I'm feeling pec flies. I love that movement. And it feels really good in my chest and I'm getting a good pump. Just do, do what you feel that's best for your body. I don't think you necessarily have to follow a workout routine of other people. I don't, like, come up with your own and then implement things of others that you like. Like for example, if you watch Arnold and you see some of his workouts and you add it into yours and you like those, keep them in your rotation. Say you watch Trey Cutler or Sam Solwick, all of those guys. Take little bits and pieces of each of their sets and workouts and what they do, add it into your own and try to see what you like and what you don't like. And, cause who's gonna wanna come to the gym and do exercises that they hate, you know what I mean? And they feel like it's hurting them. They're just like, it feels like, I don't know. To me, just, that's the way I feel about it. Maybe it's wrong. I don't know, who cares, right? This is just my little documentary and diary of my weight loss and how far we're gonna come along and stuff. I wish I was, like I said, I wish I recorded from the beginning when I was like 320 pounds, whatever it was. I think it was like 325. And I had no muscle. Maybe I'll throw a photo up there. I keep saying that, but then I forget. But yeah, guys, just get in the gym, go hard, reach your goals. Keep pushing for your goals. When you reach those goals, set new goals. Just keep going. Like, I don't know what I would be doing right now if it wasn't for the gym. And honestly, it would be down a pretty dark path. But uh, I think that's gonna be it for this video. And we'll either see you guys tomorrow or on the next one. And uh, think about popping them out daily. And then sometimes it's like, I'm like, ah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I think I like daily videos, though. I don't know. But all right, guys. Keep at it.